Well, howdy, folks. Today is Tuesday. Just another piggy day in the piggy way. It's going to be a little late today because it's kind of hemmed up. There's mowing going on out here. So had to wait for that to be over. I'm trying to get situated here. If y'all happen to hear a faint buzzing, that is a weed eater. Down at the next property over. Which happens to own this property here. So, may or may not be up this way here in a little while. Charlie at just doing our best. Uh, just went and checked the mail. Got your letter in there. I don't know what's in it yet. I'm going to wait until the missus is up to take a look at it. Uh, it's nice to get mail that ain't bills or junk or spam or things totally unre unrelated to you. It was in Randy's live for a while. And the lovely Miss Sarah had come in and she did a session for us. That's always a lovely thing. And Miss Sarah, she's got that voice of an angel and she just, she will wow you without a doubt. But funny thing, while looking at my phone, well, mobile device, it ain't a phone. It ain't set up for being a phone. I don't need one. But uh, something kind of funny happened. It was kind of shocking. I got an ad on there. It said the truth about cherries. Had a couple of pictures on there with it. One of them was in a chair with a full spread. I thought, whoa, hold up. This is new. I didn't think they allowed that on Facebook, but apparently they do. I reported it as sexually inappropriate, but uh, I doubt anything serious would be done about it because, you know, that sort of thing is a multi-billion, if not trillion dollar industry, so as long as they're paying money, they'll get to put it out there as long as they, as long as they want to, as long as they're paying the money. Facebook don't care. It's all about the money. So I'll wait to see what I get back on the report. They'll probably come back and say they didn't find anything wrong with it. Be par for the course. But, uh, that's almost like getting spammed in your email. Trying to check your spam and make sure there ain't nothing really important. <laughs> you open one up, it seems like it might be important. And there you got something spread out in front of your face and you're like, whoa, that ain't nothing important. <laughs> Folks, I got to tell you, while some of that stuff might look good, I feel it to the eye, you know, they're a dime a dozen. Especially when they go there, they're a dime a dozen. See all you want to. There's they, all sorts of sites people can go to to look at what they want to for nothing. You know, so if you're into that sort of thing, you, you know, you can go there and do that. Everything, but in the end, what that thing turned out being was an ad for thing called local flirt. Yeah, well, I ain't looking for nothing on the side. Not that I could do it any good anyway. <laughs> and uh, that's all it's for. They won't call it local flirt. <laughs> uh, 
I'm thinking, uh, no, uh, be more accurate to say, uh, local Insta hookup, because that's all it's about. That's what people want to do, you know, that's their choice, you know, if they, that's how they want to satisfy their certain things, you know, that's their thing, that's their choice. But, you know, it just kind of, it don't kind of, it does cheapen everything about it. It's cheap. Dime a dozen. Facebook coming out with it, letting it pop up on the ads. But like Kim Burris had said in one of the chats, you know, they get some of us on the simplest, most innocent things, yet they let certain others do and show totally inappropriate things and don't say a word. Well, it's just part of the game. It's part of the world. It's going to be there. Ain't nothing we can really do about it. We can complain about it, but it ain't going to do no good. Too much money involved in it. Too much of an agenda involved in it, too. I had something else on my mind to talk about. It's kind of slipped my mind for the time being. And, or the gist of it anyway, and I might not do that one. But I am thinking about doing something, a little on the funny side. And Dale at Nine Acres is going to be aimed at you, my friend. <laughs> I think you'll get a kick out of it, though. I'm going to try to see if I can't set that up for Thursday to come out then. And oh, you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> and I've got another one in mind, too. You yeah, know, just uh, kind of, well, what do they call that? It is making it, mimicking something else and making a joke out of it. You know, a funny skit, not really a skit, it's just going to be mostly actions. There might be some dialogue to it. I don't know. I had a little bit of a thought for some dialogue on it, but, but we shall see. But, uh, yeah, a couple of funnies. I'm going to try to do one for Thursday. The other one I'm going to do is something else. You know, kind of like Saturday Night Live used to do funny skits, making fun of other things and making you laugh about it. So I'm going to see about doing that and see how that turns out. But, uh, I hope y'all enjoy it when I do it. Uh, having a hard time hearing that weed eater. It must be up in the back over yonder. But some of y'all might can see a tree across the road there. And see something behind it. Well, that something, if you can't make it out, is a Chevy truck. That belonged to my long-time childhood friend, quote-unquote. It's been sitting there ever since he passed away. Don't know what they're going to do with it. Probably hang on to it and let it sit there and rot. That's what they've done with some other stuff. So, don't know what will come of that. Looks like the one mowing puts my trash can almost out into the road. I got to gather up trash tonight and in the morning to put out for tomorrow. 
anyway, so I'll take care of it then. People do things and don't give no thought and consideration to what they do. As long as they get done what they wanted to do, they don't they don't care about nothing else and don't have no thought or consideration for nothing else. That's just part of life. One of those things. Can't get mad at it. You just gotta gotta look over them like the little children they are. That's what I do. I had a friend make a post about something and uh, I told her I responded to it in some way and she'd come back she said yeah I wish I'd have listened to y'all way back when so you definitely do the I told you so's I told her I said no Ain't going to be no I told you so. That's just mean. Everybody's got to learn lessons that God has for us in God's time. Not anyone else's. She responded with a little heart love emoji on that. And I can understand it. You know, I've talked before about you know, telling somebody something and they refuse to listen and sometime later they, they figure it out and they never apologize for being a hard-headed something. But, you know, they just or acknowledge that you're the one who told them. But, you know, they, too, have to learn that lesson in God's time, not mine. I just sit back and watch them struggle until they figure it out. Because you can't tell them nothing. You don't try to tell them something. They will sit around and take control of other things and sit there and talk like you know something and then say they don't really know all that much about it, but then take over and take control and exclude pretty much anybody else and sit there and talk like they know something about it. You can try to interject what you know about it with facts. It'll get ignored. Trust me. Been there, done that many times. Okay. You got to have all the attention on you. I get it. You know, you, you want the attention. You'll figure it out sooner or later. I just have to kind of chuckle about it and go on. What's worse is people sit there and listen to them as if they do know something about it. When somebody who does know something about it is listening to it and going, oh my God. If you're going to Say what it is. Make sure you know all of what it is and not just half of it and act like that half is all there is to it and, and everything. You know. Cause just plain and simple. I've got an associate's degree in applied sciences for computer engineering and electronics. Now, I don't know much about programs. That wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. I know about mm -hmm. the guts and certain things that affect the guts of that, those computers and computer devices and all that. And I'm sitting here listening to folks talk about certain things. They get it half right, but that's about it. And I'm just sitting there shaking my head. Uh, but like I said, what's worse is Folks listening, most of them taking it for the God's honest truth, and it's only half right. Well, you know what happens to a line when you take and put a dot in the center of it and it splits, it's going to go in two different directions. And that's what happens when you only do a half truth. 
only half the knowledge on something. It gets split up and you confuse people. That's part of where people get mixed up. You want to listen to somebody about computer stuff, find somebody that's actually got the credentials to talk about it. You know, or YouTubers that, that one big YouTuber I listen to and I've mentioned before, you know, he, he's got a bachelor's degree. He took four years of it at an actual college in uh, computer engineering and all that knows a lot more about it than I do and he's a lot younger so he knows a lot more about YouTube than most of us in our community and uh, I listen to him when I need advice on stuff like that he actually knows what he's talking about you actually and uh, there's somebody else I'm gonna have to pay attention to too because she knows what she's talking about too on programs and that's Shirley it just doing our best. Folks, let me tell you, I see her do stuff on there in the lives and everything and uh, all like that. Folks, that right there is an untapped resource if you really want to learn from somebody. She's a go-to because uh, see some of the graphic stuff she puts together and uh, Another thing she's able to do on lives and in videos and stuff like that. So that woman knows a thing or two, let me tell you. She would be one to listen to. She would be one to go to. You need help with that sort of stuff. Now, I know there's some others talking about, you know, that's what they do. Well, Lena and I have done been there, done that on a lot of that. Know about it, but that Shirley is... Mm-hmm. Show me some stuff she can do. I'm going to tell you, you got to have a lot of knowledge about that stuff and the programs and what works together and what don't in order to do what she's doing. That woman is good. And, uh, Shirley, uh, hats off to you, woman. You know your stuff. Well, I've been on here 18 minutes. I guess this has been mostly a shout out for Shirley. I'm just telling y'all, y'all need help or work done. She's the one to talk to. Peggy loves you.